Hello all, welcome back. Now we are going to look at fourth lesson of this module called data box and in this uh, module we will see what are the uh, offline and online use cases associated with the data box. So if you look at uh, what is data box, it is a family of products uh, with uh, different storage capabilities and it is used to send terabytes of data to Azure in a quick inexpensive way and we can uh, uh, use this uh, to ship our proprietary storage devices for both online and offline transfer as well. And if you look at the slides, there are offline options as well, uh, uh, if you uh, see uh, the down. Uh, we have three different products called Databox Disk and uh, the Databox uh, Heavy and the regular Databox. And we normally ship this product to Azure Data Center. And there are other category of Databox uh, services called Online. And here we have two different uh, category. One is uh, Databox Edge or also called as Azure Stack Edge. And uh, we have Azure Databox Gateway. And these are continuously connected to the cloud and we transfer the data using these appliances continuously. If you look at some of the offline use cases of uh, data box, we can use this uh, for a one-time data migration like moving data from uh, offline tapes to archival data in Azure uh, cold storage or if we have uh, uh, a media library which is uh, available in on-prem offline tapes we can uh, ship it to Azure using Databox and we can create an online media library or if you want to do some migration of SQL Server or any other server form, we can use it to ship the data or if you want to do some analysis on historical data, we can uh, ship it as well using this uh, uh, Databox. And if you look at the difference between Azure Import Export Service versus the Databox, Azure provides the appliance for Databox service, whereas for Import Export Service, uh, we just need to use the same hard drives as per uh, the specification provided by Azure. So we can do this uh, incremental transfer of data as well uh, offline, or if we want to upload some data periodically every quarter, uh, we can do that as well. And if you look at di different product categories, uh, we have a data box disk, which is uh, a very small uh, uh, device with capacity of around 8 terabyte. And user can order uh, up to, uh, say for example, uh, 5 uh, devices in a pack, so that if the data transfer is uh, less than 40 TB, we can use this capacity. And this is again a uh, secure a uh, rugged device and we have USB uh, 3 interface available. And if you look at the regular data box, we can use it to ship data uh, up to around 100 terabytes and roughly it uh, weighs around 50 pounds and this is again a, a secure uh, rugged appliance and we can use it for uh, offline uh, shipping of data. And the third option is uh, data box heavy. Here it's uh, uh, again a huge box which is again a rugged appliance which is secured and we can use this to transfer up to one petabytes of data and roughly it weighs around 500 pounds. If you look at uh, which one to choose, uh, if we consider speed and time, data box disk uses uh, USB 3 connection, so it's pretty slow. And if we uh, need higher uh, uh, bandwidth uh, for copying the data, we can use a regular data box which provides a 1 Gbps or 10 Gbps network interface. Or if we go for data box heavy, we get 40 Gbps network interface. And if you look at uh, uh, security, uh, data box disk. Uh, is uh, encrypted with AES-128, whereas other two uh, uh, appliance data box, uh, regular and data box heavy, is encrypted with AES-256 uh, uh, 
encryption. And almost all these disks are uh, tamper proof, uh, hence uh, we can use as per our network requirements and encryption requirements. If you look at the workflow, so we have to first create an order of data box in Azure portal and then uh, Azure will ship the appliance uh, uh, to us. And once we received the appliance through shipment, we have to unpack it and connect it. Then we can uh, unlock the device once we connect it to the network. And then we have can uh, configure it uh, to a virtual machine or a server and we can use it uh, as a mount. And then we can just copy the data and once validate the data, we can just return the shipment uh, to the address specified and we can just uh, verify it. And one thing to note is that uh, since these devices are shared, uh, Microsoft ensures that the data is erased completely using NIST guidelines. And the next use case is online usage of data box. Here we have uh, something called data box gateway. And this is a uh, yeah, virtual appliance uh, which is running in the customer side. And we can uh, 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 just create a data box gateway in cloud. And this will help uh, us to download a uh, appliance image. And we can use either uh, VMware or Hyper-V environment and create the appliance uh, as per our choice in on-prem. And we can use uh, Samba, NFS, uh, et cetera, to uh, copy the data to this appliance. And this will, in the background, helps in uh, copying the data to the cloud. So we can use this uh, for uh, use cases like cloud archival or data aggregation, or if you want some continuous integration with on-prem, like uh, uh, some sensors or sending data, and if you want to continuously uh, upload it to Azure, we can do that as well. If you look at some of the benefits, so we can use our own appliance, and it's high-speed uh, data transfer uh, route. If you look at uh, data box edge, or uh, also known as Azure Stack Edge, so it's an AI-enabled device, which has FPGA built-in. And uh, if we want to run some machine learning models or inference on the data, even before we want to push it to cloud, we can use this uh, data box edge and we can run ML models and then we can transfer the data over the network. There are some other scenarios where we might need to do some uh, pre-processing on the data before moving to the cloud and all this pre-processing can be done as part of this uh, uh, device. So this uh, uh, Azure Stack Edge device has inbuilt a uh, IoT edge. So we can collect all the uh, IoT data and we can uh, run ML models and we can do all the processing and we can transfer it. So it comes with roughly 12 terabytes capacity and it's pretty fast. If you look at the end to end workflow, again, uh, we have to. Uh, uh, create uh, a new data box uh, gateway in the portal and once we uh, have that we can just uh, uh, create a virtual appliance either on Hyper-V or VMware and next is uh, we have to again uh, provision the device and start the device to get an IP address and once we have the IP address uh, we can just uh, launch a local uh, a UI for the configuration and once we provide the activation key, which is already there from the first step, we can go ahead and use it. So we can use different protocols like SMB or NFS, and we can uh, just add the data, and the gateway will send the data to the cloud. So that's all about DataBox. Thank you very much.